Okay, for 1B, we're going to do this exactly the same as 1A. The only difference now is we're working with radians instead of degrees. So what you'll notice on the sample test is if it's given as radians, we have these conditional statements here are expressed all in terms of radians and also your uh, polar grid that you have also has radians. So you'll either be given one grid or the other depending on whether they give you a radian or degree. Uh, so first thing we want to do is we need to uh, plot this. Now 2 pi over 3 is already an angle that is labeled on our on that on our grid here and that's going to be right here in the second quadrant. So this is going to be 2 pi over 3 uh, given right there. Uh, if I can write this here, so this is uh, 2, yeah, 2 pi over 3. We're going to reverse this opposite 180 degrees in the other direction because the r is negative. So whenever r is negative, we go to that angle, we make that a dotted line here, we reverse it 180 degrees in the other direction, and we count how many rings, 1, 2, 3 rings down here, so our point's going to end up there in the fourth quadrant. So we went to 2 pi over 3, reversed it, and then we got that. So now we're ready to answer these conditions. Remember that your answers for each of these should allow you to arrive at exactly the same spot. That's how you know you did it correct. The first one, we want to change the sign there. R needs to be greater than zero, which means we need to change it from negative three into positive three. Now when we do that, you have to add or subtract uh, 180, which in this case we're going to use pi since we're dealing with a radian measurement. You start with two pi over three, and you can choose to either add or subtract 180, but since we need to have it a negative angle, we definitely need to choose subtraction there. So now we just have to subtract this by using common denominators, and that's going to be 2 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3. When you subtract that, you'll get negative pi over 3, and that's going to be your answer. Does it make sense? If we go to here, and we uh, draw the angle negative pi over 3, that means you would go clockwise down this way. Uh, and that would, in fact, take you to this line here, count out 3. So yes, that would be equivalent, and that would be your answer. Okay, next. We want r to be less than 0, which it is. The angle has to be positive. Well, if we take a look at what our uh, original point is, this point happens to already match these conditions. So sometimes you may not have to do anything at all. In this case, if I just write down the, answer, the original point I had, that automatically satisfies that condition. Uh, so r is less than 0. It is. And the angle is between 0 and 2 pi. It is. So I'm not changing the sign of the r, and I don't have to worry about adding or subtracting 2 pi, because if I do, it would take it outside of, of the range between 0 and 2 pi, it already meets that, so again, don't need to do anything on part B. So let's go to part C. Now part C, uh, R has to be greater than 0, so we're going to do positive 3. And then, because I'm changing this from negative to positive, that means I need to choose the add or subtract pi to this one. So the first step we're going to do is take 2 pi over 3, and I can either choose to add or subtract the pi, so I definitely want to add it because I need to have the angle ultimately be between 2 pi and 4 pi. So I'm going to add pi this time, and the answer I get is 3 and, uh, so 2 pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3, that's 5 pi over 3. Okay, now we're not done yet because 5 pi over 3 is not between 2 pi and 4 pi, because the fraction 5 thirds is like is uh, 1 and 2 thirds, that's uh, not above 2. So we have to do one more step. We'll start with 3, we're not changing that one at all. We're going to take 5 pi over 3, and we're going to add a 2 pi to it. Now I don't have to add any more than 2 pi. If I add, if I add 4 pi to it, it'll be too big. And so if I add 2 pi to 5 pi over 3, that will give me an angle between 2 pi and 4 pi. So this time I only have to add 2 pi once. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to be adding 5 pi over 3 uh, plus 6 pi over 3 if I get common denominators. And so my answer uh, for this is going to be 11 pi over 3. And that would be my answer for part C. Uh, my, my R is 3 greater than 0. 
and the fraction 11 thirds would be between 2 and 4 uh, and so it, do, it does meet our uh, conditions here. Uh, as far as graphing it what you would do is essentially what you're doing is uh, you're going around uh, you go around once then you go around again 5 pi over 3 that takes you to here and then it's 3 so you can just count directly to that one so all three of our points are equivalent to the original point that we were given.